Scotland could gain independence by using next year's Holyrood election as a proxy ballot on independence, it has emerged. Joanna Cherry has called on Nicola Sturgeon to consider the option if Boris Johnson decides to refuse a second vote. The MP and lawyer, who is the party's justice spokeswoman at Westminster said the proxy vote could be an alternative route and clear pathway independence as a plan B. Ms. Cherry who helped to lead a successful case against PM Boris Johnson closing down the Commons last year believes the Scottish government could win a legal challenge against Westminster. Writing in the National Scotland, she said, while SNP MPs must do the job we were elected by our constituents to do at Westminster, the reality is that only action taken in Scotland to gain independence can secure a future where this sort of unwanted chaos cannot happen again. It's great to see an increase in support for independence in the opinion polls, but this, together with the SNP riding high in the polls, takes us no further forward unless we have a plan for how to secure our independence and what to do with it. Those who want to discuss and debate such plans are to be applauded. It comes after a recent poll showed that more than half of Scots now back independence. Think Tank Business for Scotland commissioned the panel base survey, which questioned 1,070 Scots aged over 16 and found 54% back Scotland leaving the UK, while 46% oppose it. Keith Brown, deputy leader of the SNP, said, poll after poll now puts support for independence above 50%. This is no longer a trend, majority support for independence is now the established position. All efforts of the Scottish government have rightly been focused on combating the current COVID crisis but, where Nicola Sturgeon has shown exemplary leadership, the Westminster government has lurched from blunder to blunder and the clear gulf in class is clearly not lost on Scottish voters. The idea of a plan B has failed to gain traction in Holyrood previously however. Pete Wishart, an SNP MP, warned that such proposals would put Scotland in the same hellish limbo that Catalonia faced when separatists held an illegal referendum. The vote forced the Spanish government voting in favour of enforcing direct rule to remove the Catalan government and calling a snap election. 